Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CAD Tutorials for Beginners and in this tutorial we will make a model of seat seat of the bicycle or we can say uh, the saddle of the bicycle. So uh, let us start with the generative shape design, create that uh, geometrical set as well. So uh, now we will uh, make some profiles for the seat. So let us create this uh, first profile here. So we will add this, uh, just create a sketch on the top plane and make it alignment properly and use this spline command. So make this shape of the seat. and then just escape it just double click here and make this point as tangent and make the last point as well as tangent take this tangent and now we will provide the dimensions to this so first make this perpendicular here similarly make this vertical over here so we'll just create this one and this one and make it perpendicular so now just provide the dimensions so just double click it and provide first we'll provide the vertical dimensions just select one by one dimension and now provide the horizontal dimensions so uh, go to edit multi constraint and we will modify the dimensions one by one so uh, the last point is 290 so add this as 290 after that it is 275 third point is uh, 250 so let's add 250 and after that it is 84 and this is 34 so change this vertical dimension that is 16 for the second point it is 20 for the third point that is uh, 62 mm and this one is 75 I'll just click ok and you will see the profile is created over here So double click this and make this second point as tangent and this one as well. Select this and make them parallel. Select this one and this one and again make them parallel. So now our profile is created and now we'll exit this. So now we'll create another uh, second profile. So just we'll sketch on the uh, front plane over here. So go to the front plane here and now create this profile. So again we will make this profile with a spline command. So just select a spline and select this points here and then exit this. So uh, now provide the dimensions. We will just provide the vertical dimension first. So 
I'll provide for the all the control points over here now we'll provide the horizontal dimensions and for this we will just make these two points as coincidence so again uh, go to the edit multi constraints and edit these dimensions one by one so it is uh, 275 then uh, this one is 210 this one is 96 and then 25 the vertical dimension is 29, 38, 29, 38 and after that it is 68, 68 then 75, 68, 75 and this one is 62. just click ok so uh, now this profile is created over here so again exit this workbench so uh, we are uh, creating a seat shape over here now again go to the front front plane over here and sketch a third profile we'll open that third profile as well so we'll create this profile so uh, again let us create this uh, with the spline option So uh, now again provide the dimensions to this and first make this point and this point again coincidence and similarly for this point and this here point is make a coincidence. So it will get a capture while providing the dimensions. So just provide the dimensions and your profile will be will get updated. You just escape it. provide the vertical dimensions for this one as well keep here as well so now go to the edit multi constraint and change the dimensions one by one so for the first point it is IMM for this one it is uh, 6 mm third point is 17 and 40 so let us add 17 and 40 after that this one is 250 then uh, this is uh, 210 This one is 145 and 48. 145 and this one is 48. And then just click OK and then. So we'll check this. So uh, just double click here or uh, go to the edit multi constraint option. So we have provided the same dimensions to this. 
this point so we'll just uh, delete this uh, 6mm and now you can provide a separate dimension so provide this select the point and we'll modify this to 6mm so now our profile is created here so uh, these are the three sketches we have created now and now we'll uh, create a combined curve for this sketch 1 and this sketch 3 so that will uh, get a guide for the seat so let us insert the geometrical set for the curves then click ok and now uh, select the combine option so select this combine select the sketch 1 and this sketch 3 so uh, and then just click ok so this combined curve is gets created so just you can add the uh, color to it so that there will not be any confusion so just make it uh, blue or you can select any color so we'll so here we will make uh, the mirror of mirror symmetry of this combined curve so go to the symmetry option and just select the plane reference plane and again go to the properties for this and just change the color to blue and then click ok so now our uh, profile is created over here so now we will add some uh, planes and we will uh, create some profiles over here so uh, let us add a new geometrical set and provide a name that is reference planes and add the reference planes over here so just select the plane and select the uh, surface and add 45 or maybe more than that let's say 55 mm take another plane and make it offset let's say uh, 240 so we can modify it later so no problem we can change the position of these planes by just adding the dimensions and now we'll create a profile over here so go to the sketcher and just click here so we need the intersection points of this curvature here so we'll just uh, select the geometrical set and make it to define work object and now we'll sketch here so there is one option available like uh, projection in this sketcher so just go to this one intersect 3d element and now this sketch will intersect these points over here similarly select this edge so you will get these points here and later select this one so you will get the third point and now with the spline command simply join these points just select the point 1 select the point 2 over here and select this point 3 so we will take a normal view and just add this points as a tangency so there will not be any problem for sweep just double click here and provide the dimension make it perpendicular just select this one and this one and make it perpendicular and similarly make these two parallel so now this profile is completed let's just exit the workbench similarly create a profile on this plane just select the sketch over here and similar fashion we will 
create this points here and here and then on this guide and now you can sketch with this spline command just select these three points select first select second and then select third so now you can just select these points and make this as a construction so there will not be any problem while sketching similarly we will make this point as well to the construction so provide the tangency for the each points and just click ok so we will go to the normal view and make this perpendicular to this again make this perpendicular and this one must be parallel to each other select parallel and then exit this workbench so uh, just edit this sketch and remove the points just select this point and this point and this point and make them as a construction then just exit this so now our profiles are created and now we can make a multi section for between these two so for that we need to split this curve into these two profiles so let us make this curve as a defining work object and select the split command and element to cut select this curve that we need to uh, cut and the cutting element will be this plane and make it both side so that so it is now splitted so similarly split here select the cutting element and select this element to cut is this and the cutting element is this and again make keep both sides so now you can see it is splitted into different entities similarly just select uh, the cutting element to cut this one and cutting element is this one and keep both sides and last time select the element to cut is this and then this one and again keep both sides and then just cancel it so now you can see the curve is split into this multiple lines and now you can make a multi section between these two surf two uh, curves so we'll add one one more geometrical set and give it a name as surface just click ok so uh, select the multi section and select the first curve select the second curve you can preview it here and provide the guides so these guides we have created for this select the second guide and this select this each and make it a preview so you can see the surfaces gets added there so now we will join this so just hide this plane over here you can hide from this here as well so now we will join we will again add the multi section from here to here So here so just join these two entity first so again make the curve as a defining work object and use the join command and select this first entity and select the second one this one and make it join so you will use this guy this line curve as a guide and 
this profile and this profile so just go make the surfaces as a defining work object and select the multi section command select this profile and select this profile make it sorry it will not create a profile so just select the guide as well and then make a preview so just select the appropriate sections and then just click ok this way the profile gets added over here the surface is gets added over here similarly we will add the surface on this tail end so again we need to uh, join these two entities so again make this curve as a defining work object and join this two curves select the first curve select the second curve and then click ok and make the surfaces define in work object and now you can just make that multi section so go to the multi section command select this first profile select the second profile and then select this as a guide and then just click preview so you can see the surface is gets added over there so we simply need to join this so select this one by one and make a join from them so now this is a complete entity so now you can provide a thickness to it to provide a thickness go to the mechanical design part design and add a thickness over here so it will get started in the part body and select this for the thickness and see you can see here so there are some sharp edges so let us try changing this thickness over here let's say 0.5 so maybe there is some uh, tangents here there are some sharp edges so so just try here so we'll just delete this and provide a thick let us try providing thickness to this one so it is getting added here so there is will not be any problem for this one so here again it is going to be added so so it is added here and after that so there are some problems here on this joint so we we'll just uh, delete this thickness option here and we'll try go to this multi section and remove this remove this select this surface sorry select this edge here and make it tangent to this surface and select this sketch and then now click preview so now it will get added the thickness there so the thickness is added so just join this again once again make the surface as a defining work object and change this for the join command so just join this three multi sections and now we will go to the mechanical design for the thickness just select the thickness so you will again add it in the part body select this join and then click preview so again there are some errors so maybe uh, there is not a sufficient space uh, on the inner side let us try on the other side so so it is added now so in this way you can create a bicycle seat or the saddle so we'll just hide this geometrical sets here 
let's hide this so now you can see the seat is created so you will find the edges over here so even we can add a tangent over here as well so uh, just we'll hide this once again and go to the surfaces and we had that multi section 2 and for this sketch 2 sketch 5 we will just add this as a support here or the tangent and then click ok so it is not going to add it here so we'll just delete this or we will not delete anything select the surface as a tangent and click preview and then click ok so now it is added in a tangent fashion so now again we will make this on and we will hide all these surfaces here so in this way you can create a bicycle saddle in the Katia V5 by using the generative shape design so thank you very much for watching and please like and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you very much.